Today I wanted to go through and answer some of your guys' questions because I've been getting asked either in the comment section or in person or through email a bunch of different questions about this field and I know that if one person has that question then I'm sure a lot of other people are thinking the same thing. And if you guys don't know, my name's Antonio. I'm a physical therapist assistant and I've been working in this field for around three years now. I like music. I like playing the piano more specifically. I like food. I like video stuff. I don't know where I'm going with this. Let's get into some questions. Question number one, how old were you when you started the program? Now, I was 19 when I started school, but I graduated the PTA program at 21. Now, the reason people are asking this is because they're wondering, are they too young to be a PTA or to start school and all that stuff? And what I would say to that is, when you're in school, everyone is on the same level. Like, you're all learning the same information, it's all new to you, so age doesn't really impact any of that. Now when you actually get out and start working in the field, this is where it might actually impact how your treatments go because sometimes patients will maybe sometimes think less of you because of your age and they'll actually have more respect for someone who's older. I remember when I was working, when I just started out, people would say, oh are you just a student here? And things like that when really I had the same degree as all the people I was working with. So sometimes patients think a little less of you but other than that, age doesn't really impact this. Question number two is, will a background in massage therapy help me become a PTA? This question has been asked in a lot of different ways. So people will ask me, will a background in exercise science help me to become a PTA? Or as a personal trainer, will that help me? Or as an occupational therapist, whatever it is. But they ask me, you know, will a background in this help me to become a PTA? And the answer is yes. You know, if you're taking any of those classes or or you are any of those roles, then that will help you to become a PTA because you have background knowledge in health and in science and all that stuff. But if you're asking me would I recommend becoming a massage therapist before I become a PTA, the answer is probably not. If you know you already are gonna become a PTA, then I would recommend just going down that route because it takes less time and because the role of a massage therapist is actually different than the role of a PTA. You're gonna be learning different stuff. So if you know you wanna become a PTA, then just go straight for that career. The next question is, what things should I be studying before I go into the PTA program to make it easier? Things to study before you start the program would be science or health class. So understanding how the body works, how it functions, what makes up the body will help you before you start the PTA program and also knowing how movement works. So understanding how the muscles work and how the body moves will prepare you before you start the PTA program. What do you do if a patient refuses to work with you? You actually don't see this as much in an outpatient setting but more in an inpatient setting like in a hospital because sometimes patients don't want to do physical therapy when they just got out of surgery or they're in a lot of pain or they're really sick. A good way to you know kind of deal with a patient who's refusing treatment is to encourage them of why it's important and why it's necessary but I feel like the best way to do this is to actually understand where the patient is coming from because if you understand why they are refusing then it helps to kind of address the issue. So sometimes patients the reason they're refusing is because they feel like it's unsafe to walk on their leg because they just had surgery. So if you can kind of explain to them why it's necessary, how it might might help them then a lot of times they're more willing to work with you and they're more participative is that a word? Are there any medical dangers when working in this field? Yes, there are medical dangers when working in this field, but usually you'll see that more in a hospital than in an outpatient setting, like I said before. Um, because in a hospital setting, you can come across diseases, you can come across blood, infection, all sorts of stuff in a hospital, which you don't quite see as often in an outpatient setting. But either way, you're trained in the PTA program to deal with these situations and how to gown up up, how to don your gloves and so safety is a huge component of that so as long as you're safe and you're following uh, your proper precautions then you should be good the next question is Tony why are you so incredibly hot I'm just kidding no one actually asked that what is the dress code for this field? This depends on where you work, but usually you're gonna either wear scrubs, business, business casual, or even possibly like athletic wear. 
So check with the clinic that you're gonna be doing your clinicals at or that you're gonna be working at to see how they dress and see what the requirement is so that you know what clothes to buy and what to get. And don't get scrubs before you actually start because a lot of times when working in a hospital, they will designate certain teams to certain colors. So the nursing team will be like gray, for example, and the doctors will be navy, and the physical therapy team will be like turquoise. So don't go out and buy scrubs before then because you might have to wear a certain color scrub. Do I have to get my associate's degree before I start the PTA program? No, when you finish the PTA program is when you get your associate's degree. So you don't actually have to get your associate's degree before you even apply, but you'll get it at the end of everything. Now, this actually depends on what college you're going to because some colleges, the PTA program is now a bachelor's degree and it's moving in that direction for other colleges. So it just depends on where you're going. But for most colleges, once you finish the PTA program, that's when you're gonna get your associate's degree. What is the process of becoming a PTA if I am from overseas and already have a degree? I don't actually know. <laughs> But the reason I have this question in here is because a lot of times there are going to be things that I don't know about specifically for your state or for your place that you're looking to go into or for your college. So what I would recommend doing if you have questions that are specific to you, then I would call the college that you plan on attending, talk to the director of the program, see what they would say, or even talk to the licensing agency for your jurisdiction. So what I mean by that is every state or every place that you're at has a different licensing agency for Michigan. Ours is Laura, L-A-R-A, -L Lara, whatever. I don't know how you pronounce it. But anyway, so if I have questions or anything about my license, then that's who I would call if I have questions about obtaining a license or anything like that. So call your specific agency to see what they would say. Are you and Megan married? If you guys don't know, Megan is the girl in other videos that helps me record content. We actually opened our own physical therapy practice together and to answer the question, no, we are not married. Actually, Megan is my sister. Last question for today is, how many credits did you take per semester for your prerequisites? For my prerequisites, I took anywhere from between like 13 credits a semester to 18 credits a semester. Now 18 was pretty stressful and it was a lot of learning to do, but it's possible to do it. Um, that's your answer. Um, anyways, thanks for watching guys. If you guys have other questions, let me know in the comment section, you know, what are some challenges you are facing about the PTA program or what other questions do you have? Um, because I wanna do another video like this where I just go through your comments, answer your guys' questions that you guys have been wondering to help you guys out. Thanks for watching today. Peace.